Hey YouTube, the 40k club reporting back again. I'm here with Vince. Hey. Vince Adohara. This is the first preview of another member of the 40k club on the channel. And we're gonna run through his uh, Empress children. This here is his squad of Palantine blades. As you notice, they're not the Forgeable kit. He made them himself out of some more Mark IV Marines and some bits from Grey Knights and Eldar stuff. So just run us through. Tell us about the guys. Okay, so this guy, he's um, the same Mark IV. I gave him a plasma pistol from the uh, Space Marine Tac kit, and I gave him a Thunder Hammer from the Tartaros Terminator kit. And he's just painted like the Palatine Blade way. He has like, a silver and gold helmet. He has a silver um, shoulder pad, a silver knee pad, and otherwise purple and gold. Is that, <coughs> this one's the Perfector, right? He's a Perfector, yeah. He has a plasma pistol. That makes him Perfector. Alright, cool. And here we have... Let me just make sure I can get it. Because this thing does not automatically focus. Here we go. Alright, next one. And here we have <coughs> another guy. He's basically the same, but he has two, um, I gave him Eldar Power Swords. And the lore here is that the Palatine Blades, they, um, in the book it says they take weapons from other races or other people to defeat as a mark of, like, um, they, they, like, learn how to use a weapon better than their enemy. So it's kind of like an Emperor's Children thing, like, like a pride thing. So he has two Eldar Power Swords, and they're from the Dire Avenger kit. Very nice, very nice. <clears throat> and, um, this guy, he's, a uh, he has a Grey Knight Sword. And then I mine the lore is like the like, Katara blades. And the Katara campaign is described in the uh, book one betrayal. And like that's kinda of, like my idea for them. And he's basically the same. Yeah. And here you have another guy. Same. Yeah. He's also got a, a quote unquote Katara blade. Yeah, he has a little rock on but yeah, a little rock on his base. Nice. And this guy and <coughs> an interesting note about Vince's basing job. He doesn't paint his bases. Yeah, just he, sand. he's just lucky enough to find some good looking sand. Yeah, I enjoy it. So this guy he's the same. Um he had an Eldar Power Spear from um the Dire Engine kit as well. But the front half broke off. He needed to put that on, back on. But basically the same thing as the sword, like the green blade and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that. All right, looks good. So how many points are these guys? <coughs> um, too much. Yeah. The squad like I run them is two thirty five, and that's his jump packs and seeing his power spears. So it makes them pretty useful, like a pretty mean unit. But they um, a lot of points for five guys. Especially armor saves. That's how I feel about sanguinary guard. Yeah. But we'll see next week. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see next happens. week because they're coming back. Yeah. All right. So uh, thanks for watching. You want to say anything before we go? No, that's it. Happy Wargaming.